Hello dears, welcome to Beauty by Heart. I'm Lily, it's a nice Lily. Today I'll be sharing with you the all 10 swatches and review of this Silky Girl OMG Powder Matte Lip Color and the comparison between their three matte bullet lipsticks which is the OMG Powder Matte Lip Color their latest matte lip color which is the Matte Stylo Slim Lip Color and also a matte lip color and if you are new to my channel, hello and welcome I love to explore new creative free makeup products from the drugstore brands, the Indie, the Sephora, and the Clean Beauty brands. Hopefully, with my videos, I can help you to save the headaches, the time, money, effort to browse through tons of products out there on the market. So, if you happen to like this video, please consider to subscribe. Thank you so much. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much again for watching my videos. I just took a long break. Hello, and hopefully everything is well for you dears. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with the packaging. The overall packaging for this Silky Girl OMG Powder Matte Lip Color, I would say it will be quite interesting, funny, and unexpected. As you dears can see, this is made out of a black plastic casing with the white fonts over here that comprises of the product name and also Silky Girl logo. The top part is interesting. You can see this reflective button over here. Actually, you can see your face over here, but it's just that the image is a little distorted. So just in case of emergency, if you dears are outside and forgot to bring a mirror, you can always use this distorted mirror to apply lipstick. The reason I find that the top part is interesting is when you push the button, this is what happens. The whole lipstick get pushed out and you can feel that there is spring inside. And the reason I find that this packaging is a little funny because the casing over here seems tall. But if you were to compare the lower casing over here, this lower casing is quite short. Like this. And when I fully swirl around the lipstick, the lipstick is actually quite short by itself. To close this lipstick, just simply push up, you will hear the click sound and you will feel the spring inside contracted. As usual for Silky Girl packaging, there will always be a colour sticker at the bottom of the packaging which reflects the colour code and the colour name. The colour of the sticker closely represents the colour of the lipstick. This lipstick is lightweight and easy to carry around. And the closure is very secure. You need not worry that the lipstick will drop off and dirty your bag. This Silky Girl OMG Powder Matte Lip Color can be found at Watson, Guardian Pharmacy and Lazada Online. Retailing at $12.90 each. Watson, Guardian Pharmacy and Lazada always have promotion, so just wait for the promotion to get a better deal. There are a total of 10 beautiful warm and cool tone colours. The colours are mostly suitable for Asian skin. By the way, for the swatching part, those with the heart shape besides the lip colour name are my favourite colours, which you may like them too. This Silky Girl OMG Powder Matte Lip Colour glides on smoothly and easily on my lips. It has a velvety, smooth, powdery light finish. The colours are opaque and they are long-lasting. It transfers a little and will fade over a meal. But there's still some colour stain on the lips, so the lips are always coloured. It will also transfer a little on the surgical mask. They are infused with avocado oil, chamomile and aloe vera extract to protect so.
For City Girl Bullet lipsticks, there are three matte lipstick range, which is this, the OMG Powder Matte Lip Color, and this is their latest lipstick color range, which is the Matte Stylo Slim Lipstick, and this is a matte lipstick. So now I'm going to compare the difference between the three of them. I've already did a dedicated swatch and review for these two range, which is this Matte Stylo Slim Lip Color, and this are matte lip color. So I will insert the link over here on the screen and also in the description box below just in case you dears are interested to find out more. And let's start with the pricing first. Overall, the pricing for Silky Girl is very reasonable. Both of these OMG powder matte lip color and this matte stylo slim lip color cost $12.90 sing dollar. And this are matte lip color cost $10.90 sing dollar each. And for the pigmentation, for this two range again, the OMG Powder Matte Lip Color and the Matte Stylo Slim Lip Color are good and the colors are opaque. So let me just do a hand swatch over here. This is the OMG Powder Matte Lip Color. This is in the color number 8, Sakura. And this is the Matte Stylo Slim Lip Color. In the color number 3, Chic, C-H-I-C Okay, let me draw more so that you dears can see because this is a slim lipstick So these two are opaque For this, a matte lip color This is in the color number 2, Pretty I'm choosing a similar color for this tree range. Okay, let me just draw a wider area. So I'm not so sure whether you can see this is more sheer, but the coverage is beautiful. Although these three lipsticks are matte, they have slightly different finish. For this OMG powder matte lip color, this has a velvety powder matte finish. And for this Slim one, the matte stylo slim lip color. This is the most mattifying bullet lipstick Silky Girl has. And surprisingly, this is my most uncomfortable experience, which I wore it after a few hours. My lips feel dry, and I'm quite surprised because even for their liquid matte lipsticks, I don't feel the dryness at all. So I don't understand why my lips feel uncomfortable and dry with this. Matte Stylo Slim Lip Color And obviously being matte, my lip lines are the most obvious when I wear this lipstick And the finish for this are matte lip color Which is this one This is Moisturizing Soft Matte Finish This is the least mattifying compared to the three of them And this is the most shiny compared to the three of them For the scent this OMG Powder Matte Lip Color is actually fragranceless, and for the Matte Stylo Slim Lip Color, it does has a slight peppermint scent. And for this a matte lip color, it has a slight vanilla scent. Most of Silky Girl lipsticks doesn't contain any fragrance, and if they carry fragrance in there, it's usually very very lightly scented. And it doesn't linger on the lips, so it's as almost they are fragranceless. And so far for City Girl lipstick, I only find that this two range has a very very mild scent in them, but it doesn't linger on the lips. So in short, if you want to have a very matte, intense color and long-lasting effect, go for this matte stylo steam lip color. If you want to have a blur velvety matte look, go for this OMG powder matte lip color. And if you want a long-lasting lipstick but don't want it to be too dry and just want a very sheer sure coverage, go for this a matte lip color. Conclusion, is this Silky Girl OMG Powder Matte Lip Color worth buying? I would say I usually enjoy the experience for using their lipsticks. They have very good formula for their lipsticks as well as their colors. For this range, I find that there are slightly more cool tone colors compared to the rest. So I find that this is a good buy, worth buying it. 
but you can always wait for promotion to get it. Now it's your turn to share with me, dears. Which of these 10 colors that you've seen the swatches just now is your favorite colors, or do you already have it? Or have you ever tried silky girl lipsticks? Please comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much. Last but not least, here's an inner beauty tip for us to be more beautiful and more wise. Give a woman a red lipstick and she can conquer the world. Thank you so much for watching. And I would like to use this chance to thank some of you dears who has shown me your concern over the past coming two months of absence. Actually, I did briefly explain the reason for me to be absent in one of my collab videos, but it happens that the collab videos got pushed back. I'm not so sure whether the content over at the collab videos will still be relevant because I think I have to change the schedule of the few videos I had on hand. At the same time, I still have two videos that I actually shoot last year, December and early this year. The content may be a little irrelevant or outdated, but I still like to publish them. So, thank you dears for showing me your support and your understanding. <laughs> and dears, if you happen to like this video, please consider to subscribe, like, comment and share this video. Thank you so much. I'm still building my momentum to shoot and back to the work schedule. So, maybe a little rusty here and there, so please pardon me. Thank you so much again. And may you dears have a peaceful, blissful and joyful week ahead. See you next time. Bye! And before you go, please watch these two videos over here. Thank you!